Hey guys, Deval here for ToyWorldOrder.com and YouTube.com slash ToyWorldOrder. Uh, it's been a while since we've done a video. Uh, holiday season has been kind of crazy. Um, you'll notice there wasn't the yearly um, tour of the collection, mostly because if you can't tell, the I'm filming from this little section and not the normal table where we usually film because that whole section's a mess. Uh, I, tore every, I tore tons of stuff apart trying to make room for other stuff and just ran out of time and never got back down here, so things are a little crazy. Um, while there wasn't a walkthrough for the holiday season, I'm hoping to have one sometime in the first couple of months of the new year, so at least there's a walkthrough of my collection. Um, that's why kind of I'm doing this kind of down and dirty. I've got like a light on me and the camera and this behind me because I really don't have anywhere else to film down here right now. But every year for the last couple of years, uh, our friends, uh, the the Pan Panizis, I stuttered there. I don't know why the Panizis uh, always send Carrie, myself, and Dave a little gift basket for the holidays. Uh, mostly as the thanks for being entertaining and, and whatnot. Um, although this year I feel like we didn't really deserve this because uh, my existential crisis of this year of going, do I want to continue to do YouTube or not? There's so many other good YouTubers out there that are doing a much better job than we're doing um, and offering a much uh, better scale product than we are that I just kind of, uh, let's I got depressed, let's just say that. I'm still kind of depressed. I don't want to like... I don't want to be like, oh, poor Duvall. No, I just, I've been doing this for 11 years now, off and on, pretty much, constantly. Um, between writing for figures.com in the early days as a reviewer and doing stuff for them as a senior editor and then moving on to Pop Culture Network and that new Toy Smell and the Toy World Order and all this other stuff, um, you just kind of, after a while, you just kind of go, what am I, what am I doing? Do I really want to do this anymore? But, um, it's a question to be seen in 2019. I, I, I'm working on some stuff um, that uh, I tend to enjoy a little bit more than just the flat out toy reviews that we've been doing over the years, which are great, but I'm not buying hardly any new toys, if at all. I think I bought one, and that was the reissue Bumblebee this year, and Dave has cut back quite a bit and is focusing more on vintage toys. So there's kind of that thing of, mm, we really aren't buying as much anymore to review so um we're working on some things but so i'm hearing noises at the top of the stairs so we got a box from the wonderful panizis and in this box which is off camera right here i'll just uh pull stuff out and show you as i as i come across it but uh it was a great uh great letter from brian and veronica um, to myself and Carrie. Dave had one in his, his little collection of stuff, which um, I did not look at a whole lot of. So, um, But this is, uh, this is always nice. This is always a nice little Christmas present for Carrie and I every year. It's, it's, it means a lot to us to get stuff like this. Uh, not just that, not free stuff, but just it means a lot to us that people have connected with us so much that they look for stuff specifically with us in mind when they're out throughout the year and then send us a nice little grab bag of stuff so um there was some cool stuff in here though uh i did already have this i'm gonna i'm gonna let brian and veronica know off the top because i have this game but this is the little cardboard insert for the wuzzles board game uh from milton bradley i think um i think they did that but uh yeah this was the i believe this was the little cardboard insert for the game that told you who the characters the wuzzles were so I'll have to look though. I haven't dug out the Wuzzles game yet to see, but that was kind of cool. Um, there was a uh, a Care Bears pets. I don't. I think they're what are they called? Were they called koozies? Koozie cups? Something like that. Um, this one though, his name was Pinky. His little tag still on, and his owner information is still there, which is kind of interesting. Um, can't read the owner's name. Cynthia. Cynthia in New York, New York owned this little Cabbage Patch Kid Pet at one time. So that's kind of neat. Uh, uh, Cabbage Patch Kid Pets are kind of cool. This one was a little key cat. Meow. Uh, there is a Mego style figure of Kelly Bundy, <laughs> which it took me a minute. I believe that's Kelly Bundy. I'm pretty sure. Uh, it took me a minute to figure that out. And Carrie and I were like, who is that? I'm like, I think it's Kelly Bundy. So that's, that's kind of cute. 
let's see what else we got in here. Um, they did send a couple of wuzzles, so we got a uh, hopopotamus. And we got none other than Butterbear with her little flowers. Little flowers on Butterbear, a lot of times they're somebody's ripped them off her head, so sometimes it's it's hard to find a Butterbear with her little flowers. Um, but that was neat. Thank you. The little Wuzzles figures there. Uh, let's see. Got a whole grab bag of Snorks. Little PVC Snorks figures, which uh, some of the little little snork figures there which are kind of cool i always liked them they had the uh these ones the pvcs they actually the little antenna toppers actually had a little bendy pvc piece in them so you could actually just like in the cartoon you could pose them the little snorks antennas however you wanted so it was kind of cool and there was a little charmkins in there little charmkins which is kind of funny because i found this i was debating on whether or not to keep this but i found this at a goodwill outlet um, and it's a little Charmkins house, and the little Charmkins dolls, they would go, they would connect. I don't know if I can get it to work now. There we go. So you would connect them on the little thing there. And somewhere in here, I there was a way for this to turn. But there you go, you can see it turns, and they kind of, they're supposed to hang on there. So that was kind of neat, little, uh, little Charmkins figure there, so... Still debating on whether or not to keep that little playset though, but the little Charmkins I like because she's small, she's tiny, she could just go on a shelf by herself, so that's kind of neat. Uh, let's see, some other stuff here which I thought was kind of neat. Um, a smaller Cabbage Patch Kids pet. This one comes with a little little pillow, one of the little tiny ones. I don't know when these were released. I don't know if these were released around the time the other ones were or not, but uh, Pretty neat to go with that. Uh, some more Wuzzle stuff. A little Buzzer Bear, uh, Buttle Bear, uh, yeah, bit, 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 Butter Bear Squeaky Toy. I don't want to squeak it too loud because the dog will hear it. He'll come run it downstairs and be like, is it mine? That's mine. You can't have it. It's a little Squeaky Butter Bear, which I've never seen Squeaky Wuzzles toys. And then something I thought was cool was a, <laughs> was a Hopopotamus head stapler. Yes, you heard me right. She, her, her head's a stapler. <laughs> I think that's awesome. Um, again, it doesn't surprise me that there were these little office supply kind of things for Wuzzles. There was a lot of this kind of stuff. He-Man, Wuzzles, uh, Barbie, all this stuff, you know. Centurions had a bunch of, like, office supply stuff. So that was kind of neat. I like that. That was cool. That gave me that gave me the, the giggles, as we like to say. A bit of giggles. Um, I got some books. Of course, kids' books has always been kind of a, uh, I wouldn't say sore spot for me, but it's a weakness because every time we go into a Goodwill or a thrift store, um, we dig through the kids' books and we end up nine times out of ten pulling out 10, 15, 20 different kids' books. And I've had to start keeping a list on my phone now that basically tells me um, on my little Google Drive here so I basically had to keep a list of storybooks that basically tells me every story, every kid's storybook uh, that I have down here. And it's somewhere in the, it's like five or 600, something like that, unique ones, different ones. So um, some ones to add to my collection though, She-Ra, Princess of Power, uh, Surprise and Whispering Woods, uh, Masters of the Universe, Caverns of Fear, sadly no record, no records, but uh, that's okay because I find these a lot of times without the records and then eventually I actually do stumble upon the records which is kind of curious and kind of weird and then Jim Dance Club Magic um, I, I'm not gonna lie to him I actually have this one and I found this one a long time ago and I remember thinking that this was the most ridiculous Jim because they were always rock stars and then suddenly they're doing country hmm looks like that rock and roll life wasn't paying off for Erica anymore huh uh, there's some more little PVCs down here this time. Uh, some more Cabbage Patch Kids Pets PVCs. These were kind of neat though. Some little little PVC Cabbage Patch Kid Pets. Which uh, I don't remember seeing any of these back in the day. Um, these were kind of neat though. They, uh, the pets, while they're cute, they always kind of, they kind of scared me a little. I, I'll be honest, I was always a little frightened of the pets because they look scary. I mean...
Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Let's see what else we got in here. We've got some. These were uh, party favors. These were kind of cool because there were a bunch of them in here, but uh, um, these are all the same. But they're all these. Uh, they're all Wonder Woman, and they're basically these little. They got a little back that folds up, and you would put. Um, I would imagine party favors, candy, something in there. But uh, I get a, uh, several of those, which was kind of cool. So several of the uh, Wonder Woman ones, um, several Superman ones like those, which are kind of cool. And then, of course, uh, a Batman, because let's face it, you can't have the other two without Batman. So uh, those are 80s, though. Those are, those are old school superpowers. Um, these were kind of neat. I, I don't know what these came off of or out of, but um, I got a couple of, and these probably were party favors as well because they've got some some tearing where they, something was pulled off the back of them, which I'm guessing, uh, and I'll show you the next ones and, and tell you why I think these were part of that same kind of idea, but um, some Rambo figures of uh, Cat and, uh, I should know the character and I can't think of his name off the top of my head, um, um, uh, Mad Dog, Mad Dog, Mad Dog? Yes, no, someone correct me, yes. I have the figure. I have, I've had him multiple times. I can't think of his name. Uh, but those are kind of cool. Now, I show you these to show you this because I think what was ripped off the back of these were these. I don't know what these were for because they've got these little, they hang over something. I don't know what, but so there's a She-Ra, there's a Catra. And there is a Frosta. And I'm guessing the Rambo ones were just like this. They had the little the little backsides to them. So that was that was kind of neat. Those those were cool. I love I love old party favors. Um, because you don't find them a lot because they didn't survive really, because you know, either they got bought or they got thrown away. Um, excuse me. So to find these like that, they're kinda cool. And then this was part of another party thing, I'm pretty sure. Um, I have a cat down here. Uh, the little Snow White. There, that's Midnight, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if you guys have ever seen Midnight, but that's uh, that's our little stray black kitty cat that we adopted uh, that has diabetes. So he likes to come down here when I'm down here to see what I'm doing. He's got to make sure I'm not leaving him because I'm his favorite. Midnight. Come here. Come here. Silly cat. Silly kitty cat. I'm not going nowhere. I'm right here. Brr. He's an old guy, too. He don't got no teeth. Um, but... Uh, uh, Cinderella Castle. I think that's Cinderella Castle. That's a Disney castle. I'm pretty sure it's Cinderella Castle. And the little Snow White. So, some neat little party favors there. And then these were... Um, I don't know if these were, like, little name placards. Um, or what they were. Uh, these are in Spanish. Uh, the, the Brian Veronica can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure these are in Spanish. But there's... Uh, there's um, there's a strawberry shortcake. There's a couple of strawberry shortcake ones that are the same. Um, there's one of her sleeping. There is one of strawberry shortcake and her friends there. There's one of herself, the elf, which is kind of cool. And then one of the Care Bears. And they're the, just these little um, thank you cards, maybe. Um, I, I don't know. They're cool though. They're 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 the same material as phone cards would have been. If anyone's old enough to remember when we had phone cards, when we had to use those. Uh, Call eight seven seven. You know, <laughs> call two one. You know, yeah. Those old those old commercials with the phone cards, but uh, that's kind of what they're they're made out of. They're that same material as phone cards. So those were kind of cool. Midnight's gonna guard me apparently. Um, and then these were, I I think these were. I mean, they're cutouts, and I want to say they were um, part of something else. You could tell somebody cut these out, but. It's a bunch of these little strawberry shortcakes. Some are a little better cut out than others, but there's, you know, a lot of them are the same. There's just these little, these little cardboards. Some of them have been put on foam, um, and it looks like they might have been used like on a birthday cake. Like somebody cut them out, cut them out on foam, and then put them on a birthday cake. But you can see this is the same image as the one in my left, this one in my right, it's the same as the left, that they just took the pet out um, to make that. So, um, but there's one with the pet, and it has a toothpick in the center. So I'm thinking somebody made these for a birthday cake and that's what they were for. So, but there are a ton, and I mean a ton 
and you can see this one has a little I mean they all were from the same thing um, so I'm wondering if they were all part of the same set uh, where they all had like little pieces of like they were a puppet show or whatnot because this one the little fence goes together it's got a slot B for something um, that you know there's parts of I mean it's it's a little like parts of the the little house um, some more of the little characters um, obviously it was a cutout playset at one time and then some bigger um, these look like they had little stands on the back of them so they stood up but um, some of the little little stands up these are awesome because this stuff like I said doesn't survive it gets torn up it gets ripped up these are in uh, some are in better shape than others just because of how old they are and what they are um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with them I might honestly just leave them in this bag and put them with all my ephemera stuff all my paper stuff that I've got put up because that seems to be uh, that along with the rest of this stuff seems to probably be the safest place to do with that uh, and also if I leave plastic bags out uh, our youngest cat likes to eat them I don't know why because she's weird that's why and then there was a puzzle which has fallen apart and I didn't get a chance to open it and put it together but it's a wood puzzle of Butterbear it's all there it's just you know kind of falling apart in the plastic there I need to open take the plastic out put it with the rest of my puzzles but that's awesome and then last but not least for us was uh, they found a bunch of comics you know again kids comics um, I sold off my comic collection years ago when Carrie and I first started dating um, I think I had somewhere between seven and eight thousand books just combined uh, over all the lines um, and I think I sold them at one time for like 12 cents a, a, an issue uh, I made a hefty chunk of change and we do the math and that paid for us to go to Disneyland for the first time together uh, before we were even really we weren't engaged we were just dating I was like hey do you want to go to Disneyland for the 50th anniversary and she said yes and that of course started this downfall of, <laughs> of our lives <laughs> now she's stuck with me but uh, the things I kept were um, some oddball stuff and kids comics like I've really you, you can dig through dollar boxes and find all kinds of stuff so um, along those I've got uh, they find me get along gang number one uh, the Kroll movie Marvel 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 movie special number one uh, and, uh, and number two which is awesome uh, DC Comics V the visitors first issue which is a good good comic uh, the first in a two issue limited series of Red Sonia which is awesome uh, the first in a three issue limited series of The Last Starfighter and the first issue of The Dark Crystal. So, uh, some very cool stuff. Brian and Veronica always seem to find some great stuff for us um, and send me some a nice little box every year, like I said. So, thank you. Thank you very much to the Panizis. We appreciate it very much. We love you guys. Thank you very much. Uh, gang, I hope everybody had a Merry Christmas, uh, had holidays all that jazz. I hope you all have a happy new year uh, and we'll see you in the new year. So gang, uh, thanks and remember, uh, keep digging because you never know what you're going to find. Take care.